Iran has launched a barrage of missiles at Israel. The weapons lit up the skies above Tel Aviv and Jerusalem, and there were frequent explosions as they were shot down by Israel's Iron Dome missile defense system. While sirens sounded right across the country, Israeli civilians were told to take refuge in bomb shelters, but they have now been told by the authorities that they can leave. Iran said the attack was in response to the killings of the Hezbollah leader, Hassan Nasrullah, and the Hamas political leader, Ismail Haniyeh. There are fears, of course, now for escalation right across the whole region. The Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps has issued a statement indicating that the missile attack was just the first wave. They also warned that if Israel retaliates, additional missile attacks will follow. Israel has said that the attack by Iran will have consequences. Elsewhere in Israel, in Tel Aviv, six people have been shot dead in a shooting attack. At least another nine others were injured, some seriously. Police say the attack happened near a railway station in the Jaffa area of the city. Israeli media say the two assailants, who were seen getting off a commuter train, were shot dead by a passerby and a security guard. Well, in the last few minutes, the White House National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan gave this update. Today, Iran launched nearly 200 ballistic missiles towards targets in Israel. The United States military coordinated closely with the Israeli Defense Forces to help defend Israel against this attack. U.S. naval destroyers joined Israeli air defense units in firing interceptors to shoot down inbound missiles. President Biden and Vice President Harris monitored the attack and the response from the White House Situation Room, joined in person and remotely by their national security team. We are still working with the IDF and the authorities in Israel to assess the impact of the attack. Well, let's speak to our correspondent, Nick Beek, who is in northern Israel for us. Nick, just tell us what has happened where you are in the last couple of hours. Well, Geeta, we're right in the north of the country, and just over my shoulder is the Lebanese border. And that explains why tonight, every now and then, you can still hear explosions. We assume that is outgoing Israeli fire. But about a couple of hours ago, things changed because we saw overhead missiles heading towards central Israel, the distinctive orange glow of those missiles. At that point, we saw that some were continuing to make their journey. Others, though, were being shot down. And we saw the Israeli defense come into operation and some of the missiles being taken out and falling to the ground. Very shortly afterwards, there was a siren for this particular area, which meant not just there was a threat from falling debris, but that there were missiles coming towards this particular place. So at that point, everyone here uh, went to the nearest shelter. And of course, that was a scene that was replicated right across Israel, because so many parts of the country had this alert as the Iranian uh, attack came. So that was a snapshot, really, of what we saw. But as I say, it was replicated in lots of different parts of Israel. And of course, everyone is waiting to see now what the response will be from Israel. They have said there will be consequences. Of course, it is not yet clear what that means. Just give us a flavour of some of the statements that have been emerging. Yes, certainly, that is uh, something that's being said and really that we've seen, haven't we, uh, this sort of cycle that we get into where one side says there will, will be a response, warns the other not to make it, and then sure enough action is taken. And I think that is the, in the mind of people who we were sharing a bomb shelter with earlier this evening. People have been broadly supportive of the intensification of Israeli attacks on Hezbollah over the past two weeks or so. The operation that's happening over there uh, not just on the border, but going across the border, as we've seen in the past 24 hours. The Israeli Defense Forces launching these raids, going into Lebanese territory, they say to carry out attacks which will drive Hezbollah fighters out and ultimately lead to lots of people who are staying in this area because they can't live on the border uh, anymore, or certainly for the past year or so, because of the ongoing threat of Hezbollah rockets. So people, have, as I say, have been broadly supportive of that, but they're mindful about what could come next. Israel, of course, always says that there will be a strong uh, response to any sort of attack on the country, but people are very aware that they could be caught in this escalation. So that is absolutely in people's minds tonight, Gisa, even though this, this latest threat may well have passed for now. Nick Beek for now. Thank you very much indeed.